right now facing the third wave, the wave which is destroying and devastating all of us. But here I am talking about the Omicron advantage. The reason I decided to take up this video is because I got a lot of emails from many of you telling that how negative, frustrated, devastated and unhappy you are because of this new set of events which is happening. I know Omicron is changing all of us, changing the way we live. I know COVID has changed our lives in past previous 18, 24 months. But here I am ready to impart you a very important lesson, which is we can actually turn around things for all of us. We can actually turn Omicron incident into an advantage. And that's what we're going to discuss today. Now, the first thing which I always insist in all my videos to all my students is this. Do not be a victim of circumstance. Never ever bow down to circumstance. Instead, be a student of circumstance. Never put a face palm and say, I can't do it. Remember, there is always a last move left. So if you have to be successful in future, then you should never ever victimize yourself. You should never allow your mind to victimize yourself and tell that, okay, I'm done and I have, you know, jeopardize everything. You have to know that you have to learn from circumstances. And thankfully you're from biology, so you know the Charles Darwin theory. Adapt. Adapt to the situation. Be a student of the circumstance. Learn what's happening around. And this is where I'm going to give you five points today. Those five points will not just calm your mind, but it will give you a fo clear focus on what you have to do next. Okay, so let's get started. Now, how can you turn Omicron into your advantage is what is the topic of the day. Now, whether you are writing CSIR net or gate or you're looking for a job, whether you are looking for an internship, whether you are just getting started with your career in your BSc, this video and the five pointers which I'm going to give you will help you because we're talking about turning an adversity into an advantage, turning a pandemic into an advantage. Now, many of us are facing personal issues, I know. I completely understand where you are. And I know that you are feeling frustrated, upset, dejected, negative, and harassed. You're feeling that this is not how we dreamt of living. Agreed and very true. Unfortunately, this is the inevitable and we have to accept it. We cannot change it, but we can change ourselves, not just to adapt, but to grow in our career. And that's what we have to look forward to. So the fact is you have to tame your brain. You have to tell your brain, you have to tame your brain that guys, this is not an adversity. Instead, this is an opportunity. When the first wave came, I said the same thing. The second wave came, I said the same thing. And I'm telling you right now, this adversity is an opportunity to learn more. Learn more now so that you can earn more later. Now, how do you do that? If you don't tame your brain right now, then you are going to have a nervous breakdown. You will not be able to think straight, do the right things which is needed, and all you will be doing is thinking whole day, oh my God, why this ha happened to all of us. We cannot change what's happening, but we can change sitting in our, in our study rooms, our brain. While you're watching this video, you must be thinking, okay, this is what I can do next. But again, the next time you open a news channel or a website and the, all this negative news seeps through, you lose focus. So that's what we have to discuss today and we have to solve. Now, how to tame your brain, how to stay productive, how to be progressive and how to grow in your career while the third wave is underway. All this is very much needed and has to be discussed. And the first tip which I can give you is focus on now. Focus on the next steps. Focus on what you have to do today. Focus on what you have to do next instead of worrying about the past or the future. The future you have not seen, the past is done, it's over, it's 
You cannot change it. But what is in between this is now. What is the next step you can do right now to grow in your career, to make sure that you are not wasting your time and making sure that you are positive and happy. That's where you have to focus on now. Okay, and that is my tip of the day, the first tip which is focus on now. The second, keep your brain engaged. So now that you have figured out, okay, what's my next step? Now keep your brain engaged in that next step. If you do not do that, then what happens? Your brain will take you into different directions. Sometimes it will tell you that you can't go out, so you are such a, you know, in such a bad situation. Sometimes it will tell you that, you know, uh, if you if you're not doing, uh, if you're not in a job, you're not earning enough. You know, stuff like that. It will just keep disturbing you. You have to keep your brain engaged into creative things. Okay, create. Now, what you can create. If you are preparing for exam, create your notes. If you are preparing for your job, you know, create your mind, make up your mind for the uh, mock interviews. You take up some mock interviews, watch some great videos on how to give interviews. If in case you are lacking on the technical skills, you can go for some certification courses, virtual internships or whatever you can, attend webinars, workshops, seminars, but Keep your mind engaged, keep your brain engaged. That's the second tip of the day. The third one, do a career litmus test. Very important. If you do not do a career litmus test, you don't know which direction you're going. Remember, hard work is not enough in today's era. Direction is everything, right? A right direction change your, changes your life. So decide in what direction you want to grow in your career. You want to get into cell biology research, you want to get into molecular biology, you want to get into virology, you want to get into uh, microbiology, um, genetics, whatever is your area of interest should be your area of expertise. Now, that is where the direction is equal to area of interest, okay? Area of interest should be your area of expertise, okay? So direction can be defined as whatever is your area of interest, that should be your area of expertise. So accordingly, you prepare yourself. Now look at the, your career, okay? Suppose you are a BSc. So what are the chance, chances of getting a job after BSc? Do a litmus test. No, the, suppose there are uh, very me, uh, me, uh, meek chances. So okay, what I should add up on this? So maybe I have to do an MSc. If I, if I have done my MSc, okay, what are my chances now? I can still get it into suppose uh, uh, research and development, but I think I should get a better pay package. So I think I should add these skills. So you do a litmus test. Remember a litmus test, it tells you the acid and base. Same thing, you have to do a career litmus test. You will know what is important and what should what should be left now watching netflix or amazon prime is not going to help you grow in your career what is going to help you grow in your career is your direction and direction is your area of interest should be your area of expertise moving ahead the tip number 4 i will not take much time so only five tips learn unlearn and relearn. So now that you have decided what is going to be your direction of your career because you have done a career litmus test, you have to know that learning, unlearning and relearning is a part of the process. Whatever you learned yesterday may change tomorrow. Why does it change? Because biology is a dynamic world. It's full of dynamism. What we learned is no longer applicable today. So maybe we uh, learned that the DNA is a double strand, maybe in future the scientists will develop a stable three strand DNA. So we don't know, right? What I'm trying to tell you here is you have to unlearn, you have to relearn, you have to have a ability to learn. If this ability is not developed, then you cannot grow. But while it should all be a learning economy, what's happening is you all are becoming a part of the views economy. Now, I'm going to disclose a secret here. While you are stuck in your home, there are a set of bunch of YouTubers who have created a target for themselves that they have to get these many views for their YouTube channel. Now, because they have to get, get views, they will just create some stupid video which has no value addition into your life and they will just waste your time in gossip. 
Now at Biotechnica, we know how important your every minute is because you have to become a successful scientist or a researcher or a bioprofessional in the future. And that is why I'm saying, please do not become a part of the views economy of others. Just don't be become uh, or help others get more views on YouTube. Instead, gain knowledge, enrich yourself with knowledge. That's my tip number four, learn, unlearn and relearn. Don't fall prey to the gossip videos on YouTube. They're just there to waste your time and to gain views. Let me give you an example. So the gate exam um, admit card has not come. So that's the only thing we have got right now. But what the views economy is doing, what the YouTubers are doing, this started announcing bef even beforehand, gate postponed, gate postponed. See, there is no official notification that the gate exam is postponed. The admit card has not come. Right, so what is happening? Now you will be all panicked, you will start watching those videos, but actually it doesn't add any value because unless the notification comes officially, that's where we have to stick to. So this is where the views economy is destroying your time. Please don't waste your time, instead invest it on learning, unlearning and relearning. Now tip number five, make a decision, take action. Whatever you decided that is going to be your area of expertise, now make a decision that, okay, if this is my area of expertise, so what are the steps which I have to take to get there? And then once you have decided the steps, take action. That's how you achieve. Remember, God has given you a third chance to enrich your life, your knowledge, in, and then only you can grow in your career. That's what I've written here. Learn more now so that you can earn more later. Most of the students think that why all this is happening? See, we were lucky enough to go to college when we were in a graduation or post-graduation. Many of you have passed, probably will pass their MSCs throughout. They started during the pandemic, will end during the pandemic. But most important thing here is we utilize our time then. You have to utilize your time now. In our era, there was no YouTube, so we were not distracted the way you are distracted today because of so many gossip YouTubers. Please don't do that. Instead, focus on yourself, make a decision and take action. That's how you can grow in your career. Now, at Biotechnica, we firmly believe that you have a chance to make a huge mark in the biosciences, in the biotech industry. And this is a line popularly said by Dr. Kiran Majumdar Shah. I always remember this, and this line is, biotech industry is a knowledge-intensive industry. It's an industry where without knowledge, without skill sets, you're nothing, right? It's a knowledge-intensive industry, but you have to know that knowledge is only potential power. It is not actual power unless you convert this knowledge into your skill set, into technical skills. Biotechnology is a technical uh, field. So you have to convert bio, uh, knowledge into potential power by getting some skills. So learn more now and then unleash your potential in future. You can be the savior of future pandemics. You can be the hero of future pandemics. And that's my message to all of you. Please don't waste time on YouTube. I know you're watching this video on YouTube. YouTube has got many valuable videos, but learn now with the help of certification courses, internships, or some courses or some webinars, workshops, watching some gossip videos where someone comes and does shyri is not gonna help. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you agree with my pointers. If in case you differ or you don't agree, please put them down in the comment section. We can have a healthy debate and yes, Biotechnica is coming up with fresh set of activities in Biotechnica app as well as in the website. So please don't forget to subscribe to Biotechnica and keep uh, watching our videos because at Biotechnica we believe in not wasting your time but helping you grow in your career. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.